They wonder how you know their secrets. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. Look at the cards I got. Determination. They're determined to find this out. Um, it's time for a serious conversation with someone, with them. And they're really coming in strong with this, okay? Like, I, some secrets ran you off or changed the relationship. Some secrets changed the relationship. Oh, <laughs> they want to tell you how they're feeling. Got to make you understand. Never going to give you up. Time for a serious conversation. They want to come in and ask you a question about this. Like they, oh gosh, this is a complicated situation. Complicated. Um, you were very intuitive. How did you know their secrets? How did you know? Oh, let's keep going. Man, this is a heavy one. Uh, the conversation, I think you've heard from them, and maybe you're wondering why you heard from them, or maybe, you're, you know what, it could be one of those things where, and this is, okay, you somehow are getting the urge to contact them about this, because you know they want you to, I, they have put the word out there, like, you know they want you to contact them, and you, you know that the reason they have cut you off or something is, oh gosh. The secret got in the way. They are ashamed. They are ashamed. Because you know how they feel. And it could be a family member. It could be romantic. could be some, even a co-worker or something. So, you know, take it as it resonates. Doesn't ha does not have to be romantic. But I think... No, I know what's happening is that... Uh, they're determined to show you that it doesn't matter. Because the shame's holding them back. The serious conversation, like, whoa, okay, <laughs> starseed. Yeah, you intuitively knew some stuff. What it was is you knew it. Their actions lined up with it. You gave them time to sort of, I don't want to say hang themselves with their own rope, but yeah, okay, <laughs> that's probably a good way to put it. Like, you didn't even have to do anything. They dug their own hole, and now they're lying in it. Anyway, let's see. You are overanalyzing. <sighs> yeah. See, I, they went silent, and I, you're wondering why. Because it, it was out of character. It was out of character. They're waiting for you to come in with this conversation and say, it's okay, or whatever. Or, you know, explain that maybe you don't know the secrets. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> you know them. And you're very intuitive, and that's what I exist here on this channel for, okay? Your intuition. Big change. Okay, they, this was a big change. Them going no contact or, I don't even think it's no contact because it could be someone you can't go no contact with because you live with them or b b work beside them or something. But there's been a change in their demeanor, their personality. Like you can just tell there's something they're trying to say or they want you to say. They want you to bring this up. <sighs> Happy without them. Yeah, the fear here for them is that you won't bring it up. You'll just cut them off. The big change will be that you're happy without them. It could even be a new job situation. Maybe you were offered a promotion that you didn't want. Now you're going to take it. Or a new job that you didn't want. Now you're going to take it because you got to get out of there. That's just a, an example. Um, let's see. I've cried over you. They've, they're really holding back. That's the thing. You can sense this. You know this. So this is up to you. Let me... God, give me some advice to give you about this conversation if you need to initiate it or not. Because they want you to initiate it. And or way early in the reading, what I was going to say was, um, I think, and this is a rare time when I think you're feeling like you need to contact them. And that could be rare for you because, no, don't ever say I told you that. I'm saying I think you're feeling that. Um, oh, wait, I forgot an entire card deck. Let's see what I, I get through this. Um, what about this conversation? That's what I, I want to know. I just think this person is, what in the world did you uncover? You must have really saw something. Like, it was the shame of their life. You hide your pain. Oh, okay. They're concerned, especially the reason for the big change is because they can tell you changed. You sort of got quiet. You, you know, once you discovered this, you changed. You hid this. 
and it's not necessarily I'm you know it doesn't necessarily have to be they were cheating or anything like that but just something that really you know I think also you know I'm also getting getting a okay a serious conversation if this is someone you really care about and let's say the secrets you know let's say it's you know if they cheated or you know that's one thing that's that's different but I mean if it's causing this much of a rift it's time for you to have a conversation oh whoa because you need to understand what you really saw like what you really know because what happened was it just changed how you view the person maybe you lost some respect for them but I think that was unfair. Let's see what here. Okay, you are kind, which you have been this whole time to them. Oh, so much here. They they really wish you weren't so kind. They wish you would just say something. But you are too polite for that. Or, you know, how would you even approach this? You are divinely protected. Let's speak that over you in this conversation. Because really, this is someone I think you do actually care for. If it's, This isn't for, for you if you don't care for this person. Like, if you don't want to mend the relationship or... I shouldn't say mend the relationship because you might not want to mend it, but you don't necessarily want it to end on sour terms. You know, this was someone who you cared about. And, you know, I've known this to happen to people where they just find out one thing. It's like, oh, no, you just turn on them completely. And they were just like your best friend the day before. You know, don't. That's not unconditional love. And I'm not saying you need to let them walk all over you because it could be something where, you know, it's such a red flag. You're like, I can't deal with this. OK, that's up to you. And that's not what I'm talking about here, though. I really am getting a sense that. That's not what this is. It's this message is for you. But you take it as it resonates because parts could be for you and parts might not be. And your spirit knows that. Money flows to you. Wow. Wow. Did the secret have to do with money? I think the secret had to do with money. Like, you know, like let's say, for example, you found out the person stole something. You might, you know, some of us, like I'll be honest with you, that really upsets me when I hear about stuff like that. And I'll never trust that person. I'm just not a thief like that. And I believe in karma. You know, there's so many people that believe in just taking, stealing, whatever. Karma's going to come back to you. You may have heard something like they stole from you and it just made you, it's just one of those things you just can't tolerate. And now you're afraid. You're like, well, whatever. You may want to find out why they really stole, what was really going on. Like it might just be something you heard and don't know the full story. And I think that you at least need to hear them out and have a conversation before you judge them because really this is about not judging people you don't know what the circumstances were they were in anyway um money flows to you let's draw that in you are powerful yet humble you're ready for this conversation you attract the best opportunities meant for you you attract love and you feel success all around you i'm just speaking those good things into your life um you know you just need to own all this we write our own story as we go, and I'm writing this for you. I, I channel this from unconditional love, God, 12-dimensional. That's where this comes from. Anything anything I do on this channel, and I just want you to know I send that to you right now. I, all of this energy goes to you, no matter what's going on in your life. You are kind. Again, I just think as long as you walk in kindness and love, you're going to be fine in this conversation. You are divinely protected. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen.